I still remember saying farewell to you at the airport, Lucia. You were so afraid. And you hugged me tight and you said, what if I don't come back? And I said, you will. And your point is? That you came back. True love always comes back. True love. Yeah, right. If I hold you in my arms and kiss you right now, wouldn't that make you change your mind? You would need to do more than that. Then why aren't you asking me to let you go? Burnt Thicket Theatre presents Tied in Knots, a series of original stories that embrace the ups and downs of love and marriage. This week's episode was written by Julissa Campos, starring Chris Sandoval, Ed Mendez, Samantha Whitecalf, and Cody Farrell. Directed by Stephen Walshman, with recording, editing, and sound design by me, Tim Bratton. And now, how about you hold hands with your loved one as you take a walk through your neighborhood park and listen to episode four, The One That Got Away. Welcome to Ecuador. Hey. Oh. Hey. How's it going? Not bad. How long has it been, hey? Don't know. A few years, I guess. You're looking good, Lucia. Of course. Thanks. <laughs> Some things never change, huh? I guess not. When did you arrive? Yesterday. Uh, so, what have you been up to in all these years? Nothing much. How did it happen? Well, we stopped trying. We... Her death! What happened? Uh, cancer. She never mentioned anything to me. She kept it to herself. Nobody knew until last month when she was hospitalized. I wish I could have said goodbye. She loved you very much. I will miss her. <laughs> Remember when, uh, when we all went to New York? Yeah. Good times. <laughs> yeah. You remember that night when we went to the salsa club? <laughs> Gosh, you're such a beautiful dancer, you know. Listen, I came back because of my godmother. I'm not here to be your friend or catch up with our wonderful lives. Got it. Uh, m maybe I should go. Okay. Okay. See you later. I doubt it. I never meant to hurt you, you know. What? I, I mean, I, I never... Stop. Lucia, you're taking this out of context. Just stop. Lucia, I don't mean to cause trouble. I really just... I to... don't want to talk about it. Lucia, listen. Don't I... Lucia me. I just... I said stop. I have to get something God, out. we're in a funeral. Have some respect for my godmother. My aunt. Your what? I... I mean, she was my aunt. I do have respect for her. <sighs> Goodbye, Kenneth. Wait. What? I... So, I'm sorry. I didn't... I didn't mean to grab your hand. I... It's just, it's just, seeing you here brings back so many memories. To think that one of my auntie's wishes was to see us together again someday. Well, she's gone now. It's too bad we couldn't give her that joy. Too late now. Can you let go of my hand? Uh, yeah. Hmm. You smell good. Is that Dior? Carolina Herrera. You better step back before someone sees us. Sees what? We're just chatting. I'd rather not have you whispering in my ear. Would you rather a kiss on your cheek then? That look in your eyes is... There you are, sweetie! I have been looking for you for a while. Um, excuse me. Who is she? She seems to be in a hurry, doesn't she? Yeah, she is. <laughs> Shall we? A 
Oh, Mom loves the ring, Richard. Oh, that's great. Have you thought about the wedding destination? Well, it's easier to make my parents come to Canada than to make yours come here for our wedding. I guess. So, what's up for you this week? I will pay a visit to some friends and family in the next few days. Hang on, doorbell. Oh, okay. Maybe it's Maria. Can't wait to be home with you. Just two more weeks. Hey, is, is it a bad... What are you doing here? Are you okay? Sorry, Richard. Someone's at the door. Talk to you later. Okay. Talk soon. Miss you. Yeah. Miss you too. Bye, love. Um, I, I know you don't... What do you want? I... Uh, here, I, I brought you some flowers. Uh, can, uh, can I come in? How did you know where I was staying? Your mom. I don't know what's going on with you, but I'm doing fine. I can see that. Can can I come in? Does Monica know you're here? Uh, she does not. Then you should leave. Hey, I, I saw you in the newspaper. Congratulations on your business. I'm busy. Bye, Kenneth. Wait, Lucia, we need to talk. No, we do not. You have blocked me for three years. What did you expect me to do? I know I hurt you, and I am deeply sorry. Okay, I was dumb and immature, and I didn't know any better. Have you ever given everything to someone and then have been dumped? All these years, I've been trying to heal. Lucia, I'm getting a divorce. So what? I'd rather have this conversation inside. Why? <sighs> Look, I, I know that you hate me. I should. I deserve everything that's happening to me, but please hear me out. I am hearing. Are we actually going to do this at the door? Fine. Come in. I know I'm not one to ask you for forgiveness. I already forgave you. I did everything wrong. I rushed everything. I always fall head over heels and I, I th don't think things through. I don't know what to do. You're the only one that knows I'm me I'm not so giving well. you free counseling. Uh, I... I am drowning $50 here. Per session. I have tried everything. Then go find a couples therapist. We've known each other since we were kids. And dated seven years ago. You're the only person in this world that I ever truly loved. What are you talking about? I should have never let you go. I am engaged. And I'm still married. Just leave. You can't marry him. You have the nerve to come to my place to tell me that I can't get married? How dare you? I, I know it's not my place. How dare you try to sabotage my life? I've met a man that truly loves me. A man that has been my support when I had nobody else around. A man that didn't quit at the first obstacle. Unlike you that promised me to never leave me. You promised me that we were going to make it work. But as soon as I stepped in that plane, you stopped taking my calls. I know, I know. I failed you. And I trusted you. You were my first, and you dumped me as soon as I went back to Saskatoon. Do you know how traumatic that was? To have fallen for a liar. Well, we were both young and naive. Naive? You know, my mom always told me that when a woman gives everything to a man, the man leaves her because there's nothing else for him to take. And that is exactly what you did. That's not true, Lucy. Then what happened? I, I knew I screwed up. I tried to call you so many times, but you never let me talk to you. Oh, I wonder why. I even tried to use my aunt's number. You tricked me. Well, what did you want me to do? When I realized how much of an asshole I was, I had to call you. I needed to explain myself and admit my mistakes. Well, you already did it. Lucia, I still love you. I have somewhere to be. Look me in the eye, Lucy. Tell me that being this close to me doesn't make you feel anything. It doesn't. Tell me that the kiss on your cheek the other day meant nothing to you. It didn't. I promise that I will leave you alone, once and for all, if you look me in the eye and tell me that you don't love me anymore. That's enough! No, I don't. Can you leave me alone now? No, I can't. Unbelievable. I still remember saying farewell to you at the airport, Lucia. You were so afraid. And you hugged me tight and you said, what if I don't come back? And I said, you will. 
And your point is? That you came back. True love always comes back. True love. Yeah, right. If I hold you in my arms and kiss you right now, wouldn't that make you change your mind? You would need to do more than that. Then why aren't you asking me to let you go? I... I want... You want me to kiss you. I don't know what to tell you. I'm a horrible person. This is why I've been trying to avoid him all these years. Are you gonna tell Richard? Are you nuts? If I tell him, I might not be engaged anymore. So, what are you gonna do? Nothing. Nothing? What do you suggest that I do, Maria? Hmm? Should I just tell Richard? Hey, sweetie, so I kissed my ex and now I'm confused, but we should still be engaged. Or should I just break up my engagement and run off to the arms of a man that hasn't divorced yet? No. I just... I just don't think you should lie to Richard. He's a good man. He doesn't deserve that. I know. I'm awful. Are you going to see him again? I'm not sure. This is all a mess. Why now? Every single time he sees I'm moving on, he has to come back. But have you moved on, though? How do I? I was six when we met. We basically grew up together. I was 18 when we officially started dating. I know we were, we were two years together, and then on and off for two more. But we promised each other so many things during those years. He promised me so many things. And he failed you, Lucia. God, wake up. Or have you forgotten that he had a kid with somebody else while you were still together? I was the one who picked up the broken pieces. Actually, I was there every single time Kenneth broke your heart. And gosh, they were many. Even when you were miles away, I was still there for you over the phone. When you told me about Richard, I just knew he was good for you. I didn't even have to meet him to know he loved you. And when you two came to visit me last year... I was convinced he was the one for you. But what if he isn't? I hope you do the right thing, Lucy. We've known each other since we were kids. You know I'll be there regardless. But I hate to see you shattered again. I thought you weren't going to come. Look, I'm not here... Please, take a seat. Don't touch me. Sorry. I know how you're feeling. Stop. But... No, I... no, that's enough. I came back to Quito for my godmother's funeral. I didn't come to see you or doubt my life decisions. I had everything in order. I never felt so sure in my life. But now I... You're not so sure. Lucia, why are you marrying him if you don't love him? I do love him. Then why are you here right now? Because... Because you're not sure if you should tie the knot. No. Lucia, don't make the same mistake as me. I don't have commitment issues like you. Well, at least I'm not living a lie. A lie? A lie? You're calling me a liar. You. You're the one that told me that you were going to marry me. The one that swore that I was the love of his life. You're the one who cheated on me. Hey, I never cheated on you. Oh, so your kid was born seven months premature? Hey, we had already broken up. Listen, when you left, I was all confused and lonely and hurt. I thought I'd lost you. I tried to move on. Last time I saw you, you begged me to give you another chance. And three months later, you were a father. How wonderful. It was a mistake. So is this. Did you just come here to insult me? No. I came here to tell you that I'm leaving tomorrow. Because of us? You know this won't work. Besides, 
I have a life there. You're going to regret it. What do you want from me, for goodness sake? You! I want you! I, I have wasted the last seven years of my life screwing up our relationship. I am not taking that chance again. And what? What are you going to do? Kidnap me? Lucia, I love you. I have been miserable all of these years. I I'm a failure. I have a kid with the wrong person. I, I tried, but it didn't work out. And then I met Monica and I married her, and that didn't work out either. <sighs> So, I'm the answer to all your misfortunes. You are the answer to why I couldn't love anyone else. So what do we do now? Are you going to move to Canada with me? And then what? Work as a waiter? Clean restaurants? Drive taxis? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I, I, I'll leave tomorrow with you. I, I will do whatever it takes to not lose you again. I... I I know it'll be hard at the beginning, but I don't care because we'll be together. And I know that once I validate my degree, I'd be able to find a better job and everything will be perfect. This sounds like a fairy tale. You weren't willing to do a long-distance relationship before, but now you're telling me that you're willing to leave everything to go clean restaurants? I know what it's like. I've been there. They're decent jobs, but it's a downgrade. You're a manager here. You have a kid! Don't you get it? It might take years for you to work in your area. You will always be an immigrant. You're- You made it. Why can't I? Because I went to school there. Because I've spent all these years working my ass off to make a name for myself. It's not the same. Well, that's a sacrifice that I'm willing to take. Why now? Because I love you, Lucia. And if you marry him, I'll lose you forever. This is wrong. I can't. Hey, hey, hey. Of course we can. We'll leave here tomorrow. We can start over. Kenneth, I... I know you still love me. Am I wrong? Maybe. Your kisses prove otherwise. Do they? They definitely do. Surprise! Richard, I thought you... Why are you here? Jeez, don't look so excited. Were you expecting someone else? I... I... I n no. No, I wasn't. Come on, change that face. Aren't you excited to see me? Of course I am, love. Oh, that's better. I've missed your hugs. What about your job? What about it? You are here. Don't you have to work? I had some time off banked. When you told me last week that you've decided to stay for three months instead of one, I thought of giving you a surprise. I see you're packing. Are you going somewhere? Richard, there's something you should know. Ooh, is it a girl's trip with Maria? I am sorry. Coming here was the worst mistake. I hope I didn't ruin your traveling plans. No, no, you didn't. Lucy, I came here because I love you. I know how much you miss home. Actually, I've made some arrangements. We could just get married here. What do you think? What? Why? I thought you might be excited to get married in your homeland. Besides, I didn't want to wait that long to marry you. Who knows, you might change your mind while being here. <laughs> well, I am starving. I found a really cool pasta place around the corner. I lied to you. They have your favorite plate ravioli. I'm the worst person. Let me order an Uber. I'm sorry, I panicked. Should be here soon. I kissed Kenneth. I know. What? Maria told me. How dare she tell me? She was worried about you. How long have you known this? For a while. Then why are you here? I couldn't believe it without seeing it with my own eyes. I wanted to hear it from you first. So, a kiss and a trip. Huh. Am I missing anything else? I'm sorry. 
I mean, Maria just told me about the kiss and that I should hurry before it's too late. But I never thought you were actually going- I failed you. You've been the most wonderful man that I've ever known, and I failed you. I broke it. I broke my promise. I don't deserve you. Were you two going to leave without saying goodbye? No, no, no. I I was planning to come back to Saskatoon and talk to you and explain everything. You mean you're planning to break up with me during your return with him to Saskatoon? Richard, the last thing I would do is hurt you. Nothing has been decided. But you were planning to travel today. Yes, at first. I was planning to come to surprise you. He was not a part of my plan, but then... But then what, Lucia? I'm far from perfect. We all are. I mean, even someone perfect as Jesus still forgives people, right? It really hurts. I... It's going to take me some time to forget this. Not going to deny that. But we won't be the first, nor the last couple that goes through this. Richard. Before you make a decision, Lucy, I want you to remember these three years together. The summer that we met, our ups and downs, our dreams together, the name of our future children, the house you've been dreaming about, our adorable puppy. Just think about it. Lucia, if you take that plane with Kenneth, there's no way back. It will be over forever. You know me, Lucia. You know me. I want you to look at me in the eye and tell me, is this what you want? Maria, what are you doing here? Did something happen to Lucia? I just came to give you this. Where's Lucia? Our flight leaves in an hour. I don't know, Kenneth. I should go. Good luck. Maria, wait! Where's Lucia? Why are you giving me this? Maria, stop! (sighs) Dear Kenneth, If you are reading this, it means that you kept your promise. You must be waiting for me at the airport. My My younger younger self would have have taken taken the plane with you in a heartbeat. heartbeat. Perhaps I would have risked it all once again. But the truth is, I can't. I can't miss my chance to truly be happy. We will always have our childhood memories. We will always have the happy memories from seven years ago. We will always care for each other. You might become the one that got away, but I'm okay to live with that. Because I've made my decision to walk the path of marriage with someone else. Hope you find that long-awaited happiness. Love, Lucia. Goodbye, Lucia. What goes around comes around. (laughs) Damn it. Hey, Monica. Have a minute to chat? Tied in Knots is a production of Burnt Thicket Theatre. Support our work with a donation and learn more about us and our artists at burntthicket.com. Special thanks go to our season sponsor, Shercom Industries, and to SK Arts for supporting this project. This project was gratefully created on Treaty 6 territory, the ancestral homeland of the Métis, and the traditional territory of Guayaquil in Ecuador. Join us next time for another episode of Tide in Knots.